Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Hates the Name Plays Monster Train. So let's go ahead and load up a new run here. Last time we had a solid victory as the Hellhorned, so this time we're going to switch it up. And I think we'll even switch it up more than I've ever seen before and play the Stygian Guard, who I've not played as at all. Draft the support of the Ancient Guard, etc. Yada yada. Doesn't really give me any clues about how to play them, though I have seen a little bit of their stuff. Not through my own playthroughs, but just online. And I know that they they work well with uh, spells, so I'm thinking I'm going to keep the Woken uh, in here and hopefully maybe get some Sting synergy or something like that. Did that have Covenant 1 on? I didn't mean to have Covenant 1 on. I did have Covenant 1 on. Covenant is just going to make the the game harder. Um, so I think I'm just going to turn that off because I don't want to don't really want to do uh, runs with it until I've played through as each of the different clans. So I'm just going to turn that off. That just makes the game a bit harder and then gives you uh, gives you cards off the start there like you saw. So okay, we'll just start this up now. And uh, we have Seraph the Temperament, which decreases, oh, it causes sap. Pride, friendly units enter with sap 3. Minus 2, wait. Temper the strength of your units. Okay. Well, I'm going to be doing mostly uh, spell-based damage, I assume. So, it's not too big of a deal, I guess. Possibly, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, train stewards get damage shield 2 and multi-strike 1. That is a good way to, like, buff up my early units so that I don't have to focus on making more units. So I think I will take that, actually. It's a bit strange, but it's an interesting option. Uh, so damage spells on this floor cost one less. Or, whenever it strikes, it deals 10 Frostbite to the attacked unit. Now, Frostbite stacks up like poison, so that's actually a decent amount of damage. I'm pretty tempted to go with this one, despite how I was saying that I was going to focus on spells. But I don't think minus one cost to spells is that noticeable, so I will, uh, I will go this route. Maybe I'll end up regretting that. Maybe I'll be wrong and, you know, minus one cost would have made a huge difference. Uh, Non-boss enemy units get added damage. I basically have to, just to give myself an early boost. I consider the first trial pretty necessary. Um, so, gonna cast you and I think I'm gonna put this one down to go in front. Uh, oh, this is only damages the front unit, so I can't even focus on that guy. Um, so this is okay. You got that defense, and this unit's already dying. Five, ten, and then it's too bad that the order is kind of wrong. If I can do twelve damage to him, that is enough that we'll be able to kill both units, so that's actually pretty nice. Okay, well, because I have Train Steward still, I might as well cast one up there to make that happen. Again, it's too bad I can't uh, aim this, because I would love to hit this guy at the back before he kills my Train Steward, but I don't have that option. Um, I'm going to want something to defend here. Do I have... I do have one more Train Steward. Once, the, once that first one dies, so I guess I'll put that one up there. And then I might as well hit this guy. Doesn't make a ton of difference, but I guess might as well. Prevent him from taking their damage shield off. 
and put him out there. I don't think the regen's going to make a big difference to anything, but... Alright. They're both... Well, the boss is dead, and that's all that really matters, so I'll just let it play out. And that's pretty good. We got a three turn boss rush. I don't really know. I guess that's just because it stayed on the bottom floor. Okay. What's Crypt Builder? Offering. What is offering? If discarded before. Oh, okay. These both have offering. If discarded before the end of your turn, it will instead be played. Deal 60 damage to the front enemy unit and push it to the back. 60 damage is quite a bit. Um, deal 5 damage to the enemy units and 2 enemy units, so that means all enemy units, and apply Frostbite 10 to all enemy units. That's also pretty good. Um, deal 3 damage, apply Frostbite 8, and that's going to be a targeted attack. I, I like this one enough that if I make it cost less, I won't even need to worry about the discarding uh, aspect of it. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to need... I was hoping that this would really help me not have to rely on tank units as much, but I think I'm still going to need some tank units just because you saw that those uh, spell shields disappear quick. These both have sw uh, sweep. This one causes uh, spell weakness, which causes a unit hit by a damage spell to take that much damage again. So that's pretty pretty nice uh, for each stack, even. Strike. What does it get on strike? Oh, it applies spell weakness. Yeah, that makes sense. And then this one on strike applies frostbite 3, which is kind of like poison 3. So that's, you know, a little bit of damage. But, I mean, with the sweep, that would be good for taking out back units. But I feel like I maybe need I maybe need an early tank. So I'm I'm a little disappointed to have to go that route. I'd like to get some spells upgraded, I think. Now there's gotta be a discard option somewhere to, to make this offering worth it. But for right now, I want to try and see if I can make it cost one less. Perfect. So that's pretty nice. Um, I wonder how much this affects it. Just the damage, not the frostbite. So not, not really worth it. Uh, what else can we hit with this? That's kind of nice, because like healing 20 and then doing 5 times 20 is it's pretty solid so I will upgrade that it's not too expensive a holdover spell like maybe I could hold this over I'm not sure I really want to though casting it every turn could be pricey I could reroll and then see what I get from these two slots I think I'll do that upgrade to remove consume and adds one cost do I consume anything? No. I could upgrade one of these to consume and deal a bunch of damage. It's not be terrible. I mean, it makes it a good card and then takes a bad card out of my deck. I certainly don't mind that. And if I give, like, spell weakness, that could do a lot of damage. That can do a lot of damage. That can do a lot of damage. Well, the frostbite anyways. So I think I will do that. I don't think it's worth doing this. No. I don't think that's worth it. I'm not sure that this is worth much to put on anything. Like, I could make this cost one. Makes that offering effect basically trash. So I'll, I'll leave it as is. I'll save my money. I do kind of need to get another unit though, so hopefully next time I have a, I see another chance for it. I think I can afford to turn this on on this 
with this deck. I'm not doing like multi strike, so not not as afraid of it. He has strike ability. You're giving haste, right? Yeah, so they'll move from this floor all the way to the top floor unless I kill this unit. But I don't think I have the ability to kill that unit. I didn't go with any sweep uh, enemy or minions. If I put you out, you will... I can kill one of them. Then they survive. Okay. I think this works. Put my tank out. So now he would die. And he's going to die to spikes. Dang it. I, can't, I don't think I can prevent him from killing himself on spikes. How many? Three spikes. That I can do, though. And they will... Oh, yeah. They'll just kill themselves attacking him. Well, that works out okay. Would like to heal him, and I can. Um, I'd like to do that for the... For the lols. JK. Um, let's kill this guy, and that saves my units. <laughs> this is pretty close so far. It's a bad turn to draw this. I only have three mana, so this makes this a pretty easy choice. I didn't even notice I used that. Probably used it in a dumb way. This seems like a good choice. Yeah, now he's dead. Okay. Ha! Easy. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, the Crypt Builder again, and the Titan's Tooth again, or... Consume, apply 6 Frostbite to enemy units, and that says all units, so I, I like that. A zero cost spell that does that, and I like this because with my uh, my main damage spells doing only the front units, that makes that pretty good. I'm not sure what I would upgrade with that. I mean, not upgrade, duplicate. So first I'll, I'll go here. Apply Frostbite or apply, apply Spell Weakness. I think I want to go with Spell Weakness, honestly. I mean, I know I'm doing Frostbite to a lot of units with other effects, and like stacking it up more and more is better. But I'm also doing a lot of spell damage, and having spells just do double damage is, sounds amazing. So what do we got here? I have not seen this before. Rail spikes from the rings of hell have been driven into a stone near the rail, like some sort of monument. Okay, blah blah blah. Which clan's rail spike do you take? So I get a spike of the hellhorned, a spike of the awoken, or a spike of the stygian. So this consumes, applies sap and frostbite, so it'd make them do a lot less damage and gives them poison consumes causes me to draw that amount and enhance all of the things I draw with minus two that's actually pretty tempting and then rage and armor that doesn't really apply to my deck um, this is just to one unit whereas this could give me some significant benefits just by drawing the right cards and making them cheap or free. I guess I would have to make them free because it's an X cost card. But still, it's a pretty good card. Is it worth duplicating? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Is that worth duplicating? You're asking, you're asking some tough stuff now. Okay, the three top spells here are pretty good, but they all consume, so duplicating them might actually not be the best option, whereas duplicating this might be a little better. Or even duplicating this, although there's only one unit that gets better 
from it so far or like you know really benefit really gains the 20 hp um i will go with duplicating this i think i'm gonna put my my eggs in that basket and hope it pays off Okay, exploding enemies will hurt the front unit. That's a little easier to handle than uh, spikes, I think, so I should be all right. If I play him and, well, problem is if I play this unit here, they're all just going to kill it. I could play this unit and he would he would survive the attacks because of the damage shield too would absorb the first two attacks and then the last one would just hit his health and then they would all die and that would kill him so it seems kind of like no matter what I do here they all die or my units die so what I'll do is maybe I'll just start playing on the top row instead. I would like if you had um, quick. Because if you could attack first, you'd just wipe them all out. And that'd be really nice. There's no point in putting something on this floor since it's going to do 10 damage and that just kills. So I think I just kind of do this and, and wait it out. These guys get weaker because they have rage, so they're going to do less damage every floor they go up. So that's not not bad at all. Now, when I cast this, I want to put full mana into it. So now is not a bad turn for it. But all I really want to cast is things like damage spells. And I've got two. I could put him down as well. So I think I'll, I'll save this for a later turn. And I'll do... Maybe I'll put a regen on this unit. Feels weird not to have... Uh, not to be summoning a lot of minions on those first two floors. But it's not, not bad. I kind of like the idea of killing these two units with my lances and then hitting the boss for like 100 damage. That's, you know, that's a good chunk of his health already. So I think I'm going to do that. Yep, there you go. He's already down to 150 and he's going to take only six, but still, it's going to take a couple hits. Oh, if only that... Uh, if only that spell weakness was on him already. I wonder if that disappears. Spell weakness one. I wonder how long that stays. This does six frostbite. Does spell weakness affect frostbite? I don't think it does necessarily. What's going on here? You're surviving. I could try and prevent that. This costs zero, so I mean, it seems like a fine choice. When does this affect at the end of the turn? It's a shame that that won't kill these guys before they attack, even though they're only doing one each, so it's not a big deal. Uh, you're going to die. No, I think that's probably calculated into this. So I do need to hit you for that three. So now you're going to die. Um... I could cast this. Seems like a good choice, actually. So it did double up the uh, the damage from it, but it didn't double the frostbite. And I don't know. I don't think it'll damage uh, double the frostbite effect like the damage once it gets dealt either. I think I'll just heal this unit and continue holding on to those cards, even though I duplicated them. So I have two. And maybe having too good to use syndrome. But I mean, 
using my spells to just kill enemies seems pretty solid. Like, that's a pretty good move. Do I want to kill that unit? Maybe I kill this unit. And then keep healing this unit. Let them get weaker by the time they reach the top floor. This seems like an alright time to bust out one of these. So, I mean, it's not a ton of damage. They're all dying anyways. So, yeah, I think we just we hit this guy as much as we can. And we hit him with a heal. The, um, the rail spike was a little underwhelming there. That might just be how it is. It might just be kind of an underwhelming thing. So I think I gotta hit this guy as much as I can. Putting this guy down just gets him killed, though. He only takes one pip worth of space. I just noticed that, and that's actually a pretty big deal. It makes a, diff a big difference to where he's usable. How hurt are you? You're hurt enough. Enough for this to ice the boss. Okay. Spike of the Stygian. Huh. I guess it's not as not that rare of a card to get. I thought since it came from the from that event that it would be a little rarer. This doesn't really suit me. This is interesting, but not a lot of uh I mean it costs a lot for what it does. I'm already having troubles using those uh, those spikes, so I think I'm just going to skip this, honestly. You can't gain Rage 1. So every time you cast a spell, she gets stronger. That could be pretty good. But I do like... I like these units, too, for my, uh, for my tanks. And I do need a couple more tanks, I think. Do I want to draw more? Have a little extra ember? I think the ember is going to be good. I've got two spells. I've got a few things that cost a decent amount. I'd like this. That seems good. I'm a little sad that this isn't a Stygian because I'm building too much of an Awoken deck right now, but... Okay. Grant plus two stacks of frostbite each time it is applied. Frostbite does not decay, what? That seems really good. When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the friend. Okay, that's pretty good too, but we've got a lot of frostbite already. I think we're gonna focus a little more heavily on frostbite now that that's an option. And now this makes me kinda wish I had gone with the other one, but that's okay, we'll just get two of those guys. Um. And once again, I'm kind of sad I buffed these guys, because now I almost feel like removing them. And I think if I don't, I'm kind of falling trap or victim to the trap twice. If you know what I mean. I'm chasing bad money with good. Okay. So apply 22 Frostbite to the attacked unit, or apply 22 and spells cost one less. Or apply 12, only frostbite. Ooh, with this it makes makes frostbite the better option, I think. So I gotta go with frostbite. I think I'm kind of... my deck's kind of in between two two different synergies. It's, it's between Frostbite and the spell deck. 
that seems to be uh, an option. All right, they grow in strength every time they ascend your floors. That can make them have plus six damage for a lot of money. I'm gonna do it. I think I can afford it from like a health perspective. <clears throat> I did just add a couple of tanky units to my team. Um, they don't come in super tanky, which is unfortunate, but they don't come in super super weak either. Uh, they would he would die if I put him down though. Now that I'm looking at it, not if I heal him. Then he'd have 17 HP. He would literally survive with one health. Not sure that that's worth putting down right now. But it, don't they get stronger every time they go up? Gain plus three. Whew. That's not that's not insignificant. I think I do have to go after them then. And uh, to do so, I'm going to go like this. Maybe I'll put you down and start getting you healthy. So like this worked out for this turn, but it's not exactly future-proof. Can't fit them on that floor. Do I put it on this floor or do I put this on this floor? That's what that's the real question I'm trying to ask. Which one do I put down up there? I think either way I'm doing this. Cause it, this guy's gonna be a problem. This guy's gonna be a problem too, so I should probably try and hurt him. Um, 15, 15, okay, you, you have more damage early. The other guy needs to be buffed through healing spells. The problem with these guys getting stronger every floor is uh, if they get up to the pyre, they're going to do a pretty high amount of damage. Okay. So this would murder this guy easily. I almost wish I could wait to use it next turn. Not really an option. Apply Frostbite to each of them. That makes sense. Um, I don't think there's an obvious... That will bring you down to... To dying. How are you both... How are you doing killing him, but then also taking 12 damage? Oh, Frostbite, duh. He's already dead, but he's going to only have one health. It's a bit rough. I think I like this, though. Just make him healthy. Because this row is going poorly. And I think I'll put this guy behind... His double strike, so he can do damage. Put a heal up on him. And I think I better start working on one of these units from a damage standpoint. Twenty six damage. This will off the front guy there. So that's not not a bad get. I think I will put you in front or in the back. Or do I cast this and hope to draw? Okay, I guess I can see I would draw these. Not great because there's another spike in there. Do I put him in the front because he's tanky? with this two damage shield or in the back because he's got the times two dan or multi strike i guess he's doing less damage even with multi strike so that makes that decision easier i think i'm going to kill this guy right away hitting him for 6 is okay i guess that's what i'll do 
And then we'll, we'll keep healing this guy up. Try and keep him healthy, keep him gaining uh, some, some strength a little bit. I think this is a good play. They're both dead, so that's good. I think that's going to ruin his uh, damage shield, but that's okay. Are you surviving? You're not. I don't think either of those is too meaningful, so I'm going to try this. This hits everybody, so that's pretty good. And then I might as well cast that. So it's a shame that this guy's going to die. But I did everything I could to, to weaken these units. I think they're getting up to the pyre, though. This is a fair amount of damage. I wonder, can I pull him forward so that he takes the damage, though? I can. That's a good, that's a good move. That works out well for me. And then I play out my hand, I think. And so those guys are making up to the pyre, and it's going to hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, they all get toasted in one go. They did dish 40 damage. It's a bit rough. Now, I can deal 12 damage, or I can hope to draw Frostbite. Um, I mean, Titan's Tooth. Huh. It makes them all cost zero from then on. That's actually pretty darn good. That's even better than I thought. Okay, so I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but <laughs> that's what I've got. And I don't have any units left up here. i just noticing that. I'm going to hit him with the regens and does nothing, but that's all I got. How's this guy getting stronger? Is he also gains after each combat? Ugh. This shouldn't count as combat, because... Stuff. Can't even target. I wanted to try and be che cheeky and heal him to damage him. It's not an option. Well, it's all up to the pyre. Oh boy. Well, this was a this was a bad turn. Went from a easy well not easy, but a good win to a pretty crushing defeat there. It's the first time I've seen that clan in my defense, so we're gonna we're gonna run it back, and uh, we'll we'll give it another shot on the next episode. Thanks for checking me out.